headed down to the Bow River. There's a spot that I'm hoping is going to be, let's say, relatively ice free. We're going to go down, we're going to try some uh, Rapala shallow lip divers to see if we can't catch a nice rainbow or a brown trout. Stay tuned, let's see what today holds. <laughs> Okay, I get it. But everywhere I go, this thing needs to do a firmware update before I can fly. Ugh, I just wanna go fishing. I wanted to get some drone footage. Happy New Year's, everybody. This is officially Fish God's New Year's Fish. I'm down here, I'm waiting to meet up with YYC Explorer again. You guys might remember him from our Gull Lake trip. Uh, we're at a secret location in Calgary here. If any of you know where this is, by all means, come on down and fish. But uh, we're gonna give it a try today, see how it goes. If we can get the drone up in the air, we'll get you some drone footage. Oh, it's kinda cool, cold. Anyway. I made it. <laughs> Here, we are here. Oh, I love the spot on the river. <sighs> so again, I'm not gonna give you guys too many details, but this is one spot where the river doesn't freeze over too often. I reached out to Dan, you can see him down there, YYC Explorer, check him out on Instagram. And uh, this is our New Year's fish. Hope you guys like it, hope we catch something. Oh, my knee, Ooh, okay. Oh, man, down is still so damn rough on my damn knee. <laughs> Okay, there's fish rising. They're not biting what I'm selling yet. I'm gonna try this. I just, I don't know much about it. I think I might cut the top hook off. But this is a storm perch rig that I use for pike. But I'm gonna go a couple casts and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Dan is way down there. I hope he catches something. I'm gonna stay here and keep working this. Let's try this spot a little longer, and then maybe we'll head out to that point over there. Do you mind filming? Do you mind, do you mind grabbing my camera? Oh damn, it's a pike. Yeah. Ah, I thought it was a big brown for a sec. Uh, oh well. Yeah, do you mind grabbing? The last time I caught a pike at a boat. Oh, oh. That's fine. Uh, I think he's gonna break me off. His mouth is completely wrapped. Not a bad sized pike though, eh? Nice, very nice. It's actually very fat. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's see if I can get this guy out of here without losing my line. Oh, it's gone, Damn. eh? <laughs> there goes my lure. <laughs> Hold on, man. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> Woo! Brown next time. Brown next time. Brown next time. Yeah. Well, guys, that's the bummer of fishing these warm spots. It's pretty rare you catch a pike in the Bow River. But we did. He was nice and fat. You guys got to see him. I didn't have a steel leader. It was wrapped over his snout. I knew when I tried to grab him, I'd lose him. So I tried to grab him with the pliers to control him. Oh, lost him. Lost a really good lure, too. I really like that one. I'm definitely going to buy more of those. Fishing with Paul B, baby. <laughs> Well, that 
that's it for my New Year's fish. Hope you guys enjoyed it. The only one I managed to get on film was that pike. I love this spot. I did get a small fish. It took off. Got behind something. Broke me off real quick. Not sure what I had. Could have been another pike. Could have been a brown trout. I don't know. Anyway, gotta get going. Gotta pick up Wendy at the mall. We've been fishing with Paul B, baby. New Year's edition. 2020. First fish. Yeah, baby. Sometimes on these fishing adventures, you need to get off the beaten path. You gotta get down to the rivers wherever you can because in the wintertime, finding open water that's castable is really tough. Underneath the bridge, on the Bow River.